welcome back to Steak Guy Plays with me, Steak Guy 89. It's tournament day. We're up here to talk to the Herald real quick and try to get into the tournament. One turn roll. I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. All right. As long as you've got the enrollment stake, Sir Anish's rule is every contestant has to put up three score groschen. Okay, we can pay that, no problem. Of course. Here you are. What's your name? I'm Henry. I'm Scalas. I'll make a note of that. And I need to know what weapon you choose. Ooh. Sword and shield's what we've been fighting with a lot, but it's hard to fight against. So, let's go long with long sword. sword. I reckon it's what I'm best at. Good. Get yourself ready. You're next in line. Alrighty. Let's see how we do. Entering the arena now will be Henry of Skullets from the company of Sir Radzig Kobla. No cheers. Come on. Alder Fryer, a man at arms from Sir Divish of Townburg's garrison. Welcome, our warriors! All is prepared for the first duel. We will witness a duel with longswords. Yes, you will. This isn't boating too well for us so far. Had enough? Get a good defense. We're landing some blows. There we go. Oh, this is not going well for us. Looks like we're going to lose our first turning. Which tells me I got a whole lot of work to do. Come at me, come on. You'll get Henry, defend. Go! 
defense down better. Fanes aren't working on him. Combos are getting us. And I can't look at my own combos. Great our defense all over. That helps. Now we're getting at him. Seems like if we can get a perfect block, parry him, and then we can get a stab in on him. If nothing else, this is a good way to up our stats. Figured that one out.
Come on. You're dead. Gonna be a close one. Which is not at all what it looked like it was gonna be there for a while, so. Yes, it will. Just a matter of who's going to lose more of it. Yes, yes, yes. And now's the time to choose weapons for the next duel. Uh oh. Our confidence will demonstrate their sword and shield. Short sword and shield. We're good at defending with it, but we're not so good at attacking with it. Or against it. Looks like our parry and stab doesn't work this go around. That did. Okay, that one hurt. Another level up in defense. Yes. Also, if nothing else, even if we don't win, we've got our stats lined up pretty good out of this. Build our stamina. Come on. I 
got a little cocky there. Got a little cocky. Now you fuck. You're back. There we go. Good one. Good hit. Yes, I know that that was luck on both of those routes. But we won our first round. Meeting face to face in this round will be Henry of Skelets from yes, the Yes, of let's hear it. Kabbalah. Cheer, come on. And he will face Kolda o the Tar, catch bowl of the Ratai Bailiff. Oh, catch bowl. And this very first bout will afford plenty of entertainment. We will witness a duel with long swords. Yes, you will. Oh, so you're a stabber too. Oh. Oh, come on. We can't take many of those. Oh, good defense. Had enough of life, have you? Man, we can't hit this guy with anything. Every time I try going straight at him, he gets me. This has taught me anything. We will be doing more sword training. What is up with this? Come on. Yes, we are going to lose this bout. Oh, we can't lay our blade on him and he's almost defeated us.
can't even hardly block him. At least we knew he was going to win two bouts. So. that round or that bout. Change weapons for the second sword and shield. Let's see if we get a better chance this time around. Sword, sword and shield. I'm not hopeful. Unfortunately, I do believe, I do know how this one ends. It's not the way I wanted it to. Sorry to disappoint anybody that was hoping to see me win it first tournament. But we've upgraded our stats, so that helps us. Fucker! Yep. He won the second duel too. Gives him the round. He moves on and we lose. Did not win. Entering the arena now will be Yera of Beneshoff, called Kipper, a mercenary by profession. And his adversary will be Alder Fryer, a man at arms from Sir Divish of Townburg's garrison. Let us wish the combatants luck. Good luck, boys. Hope it's a good fight for you. So, we have learned we have much work to do. So, with that in mind, we're going to go up here and do some work. Get some training in. Maybe live, learn some combos. From Captain Bernard. Surprise you're not an attorney. Practice weapon. Real weapon. Like to learn combo combos. Combos. I'll be with you. If you want to really hurt your opponent, it's no use just flailing at him and hoping you get lucky. You need technique, but using skilled moves is no easy matter. There's no miraculous strikes you can learn that will ensure you win every duel. You've got to work those techniques into your combat, force your opponent into a position you want him in, and then attack unexpectedly. Agreed. See? I strike from overhead, then slash from the side, and back swing low down. So you expect me to strike from below, but then I turn the sword and strike you with the other side. Once more, defend. Now, you try it. Strike from above, then from the right, then slash. The strikes have to follow quickly, one after the other. As soon as one lands, you start the next. 
You have to keep exactly to the sequence, otherwise it won't come off. Slash from above. Slash from the right. Slash from below. Go. Slash from above. <laughs> slash from the right. <laughs> slash from below. Up. As soon as one blow lands, change the target zone and strike again, right away. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no! You have to strike me three times! Three times! From above, from the right, from no, the bottom no, no. left. You have that to was strike three me taps. Three times! Three times! Good. There we go. That's it. There we go. Nope. There we go. You can learn lots of similar techniques with every weapon. Train and practice. All right, get back here, Captain. We're not done. Let's try some master strikes. With a sword. I've trained a bit with a sword, and I think I've got the hang of the basics. Can you teach me something new? You're a bit cocky, ain't you? All right, then. Come and show me what you can do. I'm ready. Oh, boy. Good luck to you. Yeah. Thanks for the luck. I may need it. Stand there, take your weapon, and fight. If you look like you know what you're doing, I'll teach you a trick or two. Above, right, bottom left. I'm sorry, folks. I don't know what's happening with the glitch. Why I don't see any weapons. It would make it a whole lot easier to see them. Because then you can see it coming. I know it's a little funny hearing the clack of the wood and hitting the metal. And nothing's there to hit it. But you need to practice more. Come back when you're really ready. Isn't the point of being here to practice? Uh, I have to teach I'd me like more in the sword. My swordsmanship. Certainly. Uh, let's try for advance. Like I'm not sure what level we are. All right. But it'll cost you. Oh, we're high enough for that. Yeah, 540. Come Isn't on that now. Quite a lot? Four seventy. Are we agreed? That's not enough. That's more than enough. Agreed. Now listen up. Tosso. Sword and warfare upgraded. Right, real quick, while we're thinking about it, since we just upgraded all these anyways, 
main level. What all do we got? Oh, it looks like we have several things. Aesthetic, we've looked at before. 30% longer without food. Uh, Manlyoto would know. Night Rider. Stamina will generate 20% faster at night, but 10% slower in the day. Typically, we're playing in the day. That's why we aren't doing that one. Wonder, you grew up in impoverished conditions. Eh, we never know what kind of bed we're going to be sleeping in. We may make our way up and be able to sleep in a good bed, so... Right, game, we're in. Uh, penalties on... Stats following release from jail are 20% lower. Well, we haven't been to jail yet, so let's hope we don't need that one. Scout to increase the sight distance of fast travel, so you notice events on the way sooner. And your chances of evading are also increased by 20%. Hmm, that's a thought. Boot. Favor brute strength uh, to a pleasant demeanor. You get a plus two strength bonus and a negative one penalty to charisma and speech. Cloak and Dagger. You prefer to remain in the shadows. You have a plus two stealth bonus at the cost of a negative one penalty to both strength and speech. Mm, no. Golden Tongue. You always favor diplomacy over brute force. You get a plus two speech bonus and negative two strength loss. No. Juggler. You've been exceptionally supple and agile since childhood. However, turning somersaults and falling on your head uh, left their mark. You have a plus two agility with a negative one penalty to speech and charisma. No. Ken is... You're handsome and charismatic, but you haven't built up your strength. Charisma plus two, strength minus two. No, I really don't want to lose the strength. Scholar. Let's see. Your momentary reading level increased by three... But your strength and warfare skills have each incurred a negative one penalty. No. First aid three. Bandages are 50% more effective. For a village boy, you're quite a sawbones. The perk opens the most advanced options and dialogue connected with healing. Now there is a very good thought. Infamous. With low reputation in a given area... You also get a plus one bonus on strength, speech, agility, and vitality. But your reputation rises much faster than usual, and the penalties for serving jail time are less. Oh. Local hero. If your reputation is high in an area, you get a plus one bonus for strength, speech, agility, and vitality there. At the same time, though, your reputation falls much faster. No. So, I say we're going to go with the first aid. That seems to be one of our better options, and that'll help us in some of our dialogue options. Alright, so that uses our main level point. Now we've got a strength point to use. A heavy swing. Your attacks cause greater damage but cost you 20% more stamina. Applies only to weapons that require strength to wield. Well, that's our sword that we use. So, I need to use 20% stamina. More stamina. Headcracker. You have a 10% greater chance of knocking out an opponent with a blow to the head. I like that one. Boar, you can deplete an opponent's health and stamina by bumping into him in a sprint. Uh, typically in a sprint we end up in a clinch and then we lose the clinch. Uh, speaking of a clinch, Clinch Master. Uh, it gives you a 40% higher chance of overpowering your opponent in a clinch. I like that one. We were just talking about we tend to lose the clinches. So why not get something that will help us win them? Uh, fast Strike. Your attacks will demand 30% less stamina, but will also cause slightly less injury. Hmm. Light Armor. If you're not wearing plate armor, it will be 50% easier for you to dodge strikes in combat. I tend to keep my armor on. 
So let's go with Fast Striker. A little less damage, but they're faster. Give us a chance. Defense. Weapon Cruncher. If you beat your opponent in a clinch, you'll damage his weapon 15% more. A damaged weapon will cause much less damage, as well as its price being greatly reduced. I like that one. What's Gollum? Your armor makes a 30% more frightening impression on in dialogues. We're trying to play this game honorably, so I'm trying not to be overly frightful, overly fearing, l making people fear me more. So let's go with the weapon crunch. We also did just get one to help us with the clinch. So we'll put those two together and see what happens. Hey, sword! We've been using longsword. So, looks like this is our only option. Stab slash from the list slash from the bottom right. Okay. All right, that gets our points used up for all the stats that we increased in our losing tournament battles. Let's talk to Captain Bernard again. Actually, before we do that, I want to look at some of our sword combos. Let's see what we got so we can use some of them. All right. Left, bottom right, stab. Bottom left, stab, stab. And the one we just worked on him with, up, right, bottom left. And that one's getting a little more in depth. Bottom left, right, stab, stab. Okay. So, let's talk to him again. See if we can use some of those and impress him a little better. Good luck to you. Hurt your opponent. It's no use just flailing at him and hoping you get lucky. Oh, we're back in technique. combos. But using skilled moves is no easy matter. No See if he teaches us a new you one. Can learn that will ensure you win every duel. You've got to work those techniques into your combat. Force your opponent into a position you want him in. And then attack unexpected. See? No, same one. I strike from overhead. Then slash from the side and back swing low down. So you expect me to strike from below, but then I turn the sword and strike you with the other side. Once more, defend. <clears throat> now, you try it. Strike from above, then from the right, then slash. The strikes have to follow quickly, one after the other. As soon as one lands, you start the next. You have to keep exactly to the sequence, otherwise it won't come off. Slash from above. Right, let's see if we can get this quicker right. this time. Slash from below. Go. Above. Uh, right. Uh, no, no, no. Left. You have to strike me three times. Above. Uh, three times. Right. Bottom left. Good. There we go. Again. Above. Uh, right. Uh, bottom left. Nope. Above. Uh, right. Uh, bottom uh, left. As soon as one blow lands, change the target. No, no, no! You have to strike me three times! Three times! Try to catch the rhythm! As soon as one blow lands, change the target zone and strike again! Right away! Don't stop! That's it! Try there we go. More. When we land them, they're powerful, but... It's getting the combos down That's that it. seems to be the hard part. Right once more! All right. You can learn lots of similar techniques with every weapon. Train and practice. Alright, Captain, let's talk again. Because Master Strikes is actually what I wanted. I've trained a bit with a sword, and I think I've got the hang of the basics. Can you teach me something new? We'll test you. Good luck to you. <laughs> Gonna need it. Take your weapon and fight. If you look like you know what you're doing, I'll teach you a trick or two. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, there we go. And another level in strength. Maybe this time we'll get his attention. The smacks across the face ought to be doing it. Ready for the next lesson. Now, thank you. Pay close attention. I'll teach you the most important thing. It's good to be able to attack, and it's good to be able to fend off your opponent's blows. But the best is when you're able to do both at once. Yes. The master stroke is when you parry your opponent's blow, strike him at the same time. Now we're talking. See, that's what I want to learn. Parry and strike in one move. There's no defense against this technique if it's executed well. The thing is to time it right. Lock right into your opponent's strike and match your movement to his. One elegant technique and the fight is won. Try it. I'll attack slowly. You parry. Ah, right, that's it. Yeah. There we go. Well done. All right. Now we're talking. That'll be helpful. That will be very helpful. So, I'm very sorry, today ended up tourney, it was supposed to be tourney day, where we played through the tournament, won our way up, but as we didn't do that, I wanted to go ahead and work with something else. Alright, let's add that to our repertoire. Uh, we've already read what the others are. Mule 3, I think, is what we're going to be going, able, going with. Because we can carry 25 more pounds. And carrying capacity tends to be something we have trouble with. So, we're going to increase that. <coughs> now... Let's see. What he thinks about just a straight up practice. I'd like to train a bit, just lightly, with practice weapons. Right. Let's get to it. What weapon would you like to try? I've got a bastard sword, a short sword. We can fight with poles. Whatever you fancy. Uh, long sword is actually what we're carrying, so. I still don't feel entirely that. competent with the bastard sword. I'd like to try that. Right, lad. Grab your piece, and we'll get stuck in. 
For those who are wondering, that name is because it is in between a short sword and a Come and get it. Uh, great sword. Fucker! Ah! 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 Come on, come at me, Captain. You'll pay for that. He's going to wipe the floor with us. Of course, he is the captain of the guard, so... Let's see if we can get him to train us something else. Let's try one thing real quick, and then we will be wrapping up for the day. Let's go back to Master Strikes. Uh, looks like he's taught all of us, taught us all those he can. I'd like to improve my swordsmanship. Certainly. Well, I'll Let's not do it right now. Can I ask See if we can ask him some questions. What will become of the refugees? What will become of the Scarlet's refugees? And I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick and you lot can clear off. He, uh, he holds no love for us. Person is a fine castle. fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out and I can move back into my chambers. Come on, Captain. Who are those soldiers? Do you know who Cumans. those soldiers of Sigismund are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our Lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen. And barbarians, too. For all that they claim they've turned to Christ. All right. Thanks for talking Thank with you. us. Don't have That's any more I questions. And believe we've done enough training with you for the day. Goodbye. So, with that, thank y'all for coming and hanging out with me today and watching this episode. I know it was not what I was hoping for. We did not win the tourney. We made it into round two, but did not finish round two. So, hopefully at the next tourney, we'll get a better chance. So they've already finished up for the day. Finished up, closed up shop, and went on. We will be entering the next tourney, hopefully. By then, we see what we can do. So, thank you, my lords and ladies. Y'all have a wonderful day. And we will see you next time.